it's kind of satanic that God had to send a man to die for man. Like, that's it's satanic. It. Let, let me ask you, do you believe that it is satanic? It's a satanic idea that somebody else takes on the sins of someone else? You believe that that's satanic and evil? It's not, it's, it's not, it's not even evil. It's just, it's illogical. It's, it's illogical. And yeah, so this is something that all, this is something that God would never do. Why would why would somebody commit a sin and he would put it on somebody else? I just I'm just asking you. What, what, you're saying God would never do that because it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. He would not give somebody else somebody else's sin. Okay, so you Good. just condemned Allah. No, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, on, guys. She said he will not condemn you because of someone else's sins. She said it. Heard it. Now watch Bilkis, Sheikh. Watch what he's going to give you hadith. Sahih Muslim, what are you going to show us? Sahih Muslim, 2767A. Sahih Muslim, 2767A, Bill. It says, Allah's Messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah will deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your ransom from hellfire. That's your rescue from hellfire. So according to Muhammad, Allah is going to save the Muslims from hell by giving them a Jew or a Christian to replace them. What? Can right. I have that hadith, please? She's really shocked. Wrong. Shocked. Absolutely, you can have it. The keys. Yeah, give me that. I, I, would, I would have to do my research, my extensive research on the hadith, and see what it actually means. I know you oh, that's a, now it has to mean something. Oh. Okay. The keys. This is why we told you. What's the name of the hadith? Sahih Muslim. So it, um, I'm going to tell you where to find it. When you go to Sunnah.com, put in 2767A. I'm telling you guys now, ain't no way in my Quran and Allah says that people would pick what people say. That's what it says here. That I have to see the hadith and I have to understand what it actually means. Oh, you know, let me let me do this for you. You know, just for yeah. you. You see it? Sahih Muslim 2767A. You see it? Yeah. All right. So it says... Abu Musa's report uh, reported that Allah's messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. Isn't that crazy? You want to show you want to it, get, it, get, it gets worse. That's not so. Did you register that? But case you got that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm typing it up so I can see the what 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 the verse come out from and what it actually. It's right here. It's Sa it's Sahih Muslim. I know, I know, I it, it has to have a it has to have a reason and a meaning. Yeah, the reason is this. The I reason. Is that, I don't think Allah is saying that He's gonna give. Oh yeah, the, there, there's a reason. There is a reason. That's not, that's, that's not what it's saying. The reason is the re the reason is because a Muslim dies saying La ilaha illallah. While the Jews and the Christians are considered as disbelievers since they reject Allah and Muhammad. So because of that, the Muslim will be rescued from hell by uh -huh. Allah placing their sins upon a Jew or a Christian. Where do you say that he's placing our sins? I, I got you. That's all you had to ask. <laughs> I got you. you didn't, that's all you had to ask. Watch this. Abu Burda reported on, on the authority of his father that Allah's apostle said this. No Muslim would die. But Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. So Allah's replacing the Muslim with a Jew or a Christian. So the Muslim deserves to go to hell, right? But Allah's going to replace them with a Jew or a Christian. So just the picture right now. The other one is going to show you. There's another one. Now watch this one. Because you asked about the sins, right? Watch the sins here. This, just remember, this is not Quran, yeah? Oh! This is not this is hadith. Sahih Muslim. I have to see how, how strong this hadith is and how weak this hadith is and what this hadith is about. And who was saying this hadith? I have to say who was saying this hadith? Why Why did they say this? What is it? Uh, Muhammad said it. Why did he write this? Muhammad. Muhammad okay. said it. I would, I would, I have to do my research to see if this is an authentic hadith. It is. It is. It's, it's Sahih Muslim. If it's weak. Or if it's thing, or what does it sis, mean? Sis, it's Sahih. What does Sahih mean? Sa sahih means authentic. You have Sahih, which is strong, authentic. You have Hassan, which is good. You have Daif, which is weak. This is okay. Sahih Muslim. Just like Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim, 2767D. Don't let, don't let nobody try to tell you that it's weak. It says here, there would come... People 
amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain. You are, you looking at this? I'm seeing. I took a screenshot. So, good. So they come, the Muslims will come on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain. That's how much the sins they have. And Allah would forgive them and he would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. That's how Allah forgives them. By replacing them with Jews and Christians, taking their sins that are as heavy as a mountain and replacing them and placing them on the Jews and the Christians. Okay, now, in case, can I show you some Quran verses? Um, no? Okay, it's up to you because you said Quran. He gave you Hadith. I want to give you Quran. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, here. I want to read for you. 29, 12. Quran 29, Surah 29, 29, 12 to 13. Pay attention, okay? And those who disbelieve, Say to those who believe, this believer say to those who believe, follow our way and we will verily bear your sins. Never will they bear anything of their sins. Surely they are liars. Now watch, no. And verily they shall bear their own loads and other loads besides their own. And verily they shall be questioned on the day of resurrection about that which they used to fabricate. Let me repeat that part. They will bear their own burdens, loads of sin, and other loads besides their own. So here it says there will be people who carry their own burden of sins and also the burden of sins of others. Why? Why are they carrying two loads? Theirs and someone else's. I, I don't know. Okay, can I give you another one from the Quran? I well, know, for, for the I Christians, know it me. For the Christians, that was chapter 29, 12 to 13. Okay. Are you ready for the other one or no? From what I, from what I know. Like if I have encouraged somebody to sin or I taught them something that was sinful, each time they do it, I will get punished for it as well. That's what I know. But I don't she, think she that said, she's you know, saying somebody... that for what she knows is that it's if, if she teaches to do something bad, she'll be punished for teaching someone to do something oh, bad. Oh, so that and means hold on. Time they do it, if time you they cause do someone to sin, you sharing their sin? Meaning that if I teach Oh, them, so you do suffer because of someone's sins, if you have an influence over that. If he, I'm, I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that if somebody sins, it's not my responsibility. But no, if I no, have no. taught them, if I have taught them that sin. Okay. And I have so you taught away, someone a sin, but they commit sin, not you, but you still suffer for the sin they committed, not you. Yes. And also, here's, here's the next part. Here's the next part. If, if I teach someone good, and they have, and they, if oh, I do something wait. good, and they do something good, I will always Oh, if you teach someone to do good, and he does the good, it benefits you? Yes. You so when Jesus did good, it benefited you. Oh, my God. I'm not talking about Jesus. Yes, Jesus is your God. God. Oh, my God, the Lord, Savior. Guys, did you hear it? Wait. If I teach someone to do good, uh -huh. and he does the good, yep. then I will be blessed by the good by he the did. Good so Jesus did good for us, and we benefit. And we, wow. Why are you 